Infinite Factory is one of my favorite games lately. It's, it's a great puzzle game. It can just be a little bit intimidating to get into some of the levels where you make more complex objects. So I wanted to show some of the, the mechanisms that I've used to, um, to get those started. So the first one right here is welding blocks together horizontally. And this one's really simple. All you need is um, the welder, the conveyor, and some of these normal blocks. And uh, here's how it works. So you can see that as soon as this one hits these blocks, it comes to a standstill. And this last one is gonna push it over the edge. And this last conveyor is important because if you don't have it, you can see that it just keeps building infinitely. And it's because the last block is kind of pushed onto that conveyor and, and that's what carries it on. Um, the key to this one is that the number of blocks is one less than the chain that you wanna make. So if I want to make a chain of two, it looks like this, just like that. And if you want to make, make a chain of three, it looks like this, and so on and so forth. So that is horizontal welding. Vertical welding works really similarly, where you want the last piece to be, uh, to push uh, your object onto a conveyor. So similarly, I've got, looks like a stack of five. And see the last one or I guess the first one of, of the next group is gonna push that out. Yep, just like that. And of course, if we wanted it to be shorter, we would have to lift this up so we could go like that. Oh, gotta connect this so it doesn't fall. And this is just gonna be a stack of two before it gets pushed out. Yep, just like that. So if we want to make something like this L shape, we're going to not only weld horizontally, but we're also going to have to weld vertically. Um, so this is a mechanism that I like to use. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's a sorting mechanism, I guess. It takes, um, it, it puts your things into groupings, and I'll show you what I mean. So in this case, we're getting stacks of two. And it's gonna split them into three groups. There's one that goes forward, there's one that goes left, and there's one that goes right. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put my sensor down. Uh, how tall did I have this before? Like that. There we go. All right, so there's the first one, second one, and once the third one goes, it'll split them into three groups. One on the center, one on the left, and one on the right. And essentially what, how this works is there's just a sensor right here above. And as soon as that sees a block uh, go over this conveyor, it'll just activate this pusher and this pusher. And you can do this with however many you want. You can, um, you can add extra pushers. They all have to be on these solid blocks is the only thing. There we go. Um, so we can add an extra pusher here if we want. And then we'd have two pushed down this way. Sorry, I'm not meaning to shake my mouth so much. Oh, we'd have two pushed down uh, over to the right. And so this takes groups of four. Yep, just like that. And so we can even use that. So there's like one level where you need to make um, like treads on a tank. And so that would just look like this. Let's start with these. Let's say that it wants three treads. So we use two of these. And then we need, you know, treads on both sides of the tank, right? So we're gonna make this, whoops gonna make this three long. We're going to put a sensor on the end with a conveyor. And then we're going to have a pusher on this end. Um, let's see, where did I put my pusher? There it is. 
and that should make two sets of tracks or I guess I should separate every other track so we can like put them uh, put something on the in the middle of them let's try it yep see so if we had like a tank sitting here with like a big gun then our tracks just go right on the other side of it so yeah that's a uh, that's some basics for getting started in Infinifactory.